Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jeffrey Sion and Jan Christoph Duda. This is a game from the World Cup played in Kanti Mansiski in 2019, and this is a blitz game. Sion had white pieces and he started with e4. Duda played knight to f6, the Alehin defense. e5, knight to d5, c4, knight to b6, d4. Attacking white center f4, the four pawns attack. Black to move, bishop to f5. D takes on e5 is the most played move, and after f takes on e5, most of the time, black plays knight to c6. Back to our game. f4, bishop to f5, knight to c3, e6, knight to f3, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, castling, bishop to e2, d takes on e5, f takes on e5, capturing towards the center naturally, knight to c6, and c on castle and kingside 2. f6, attacking the white center again, pawn takes pawn on f6, bishop takes on f6, b3, queen to e7, queen to e1, the white queen is on the way to g3, Rook from a to d8, rook to d1, black to move. This is a very important moment of the game. Perhaps knight to b4 should have been considered. Let's take it back. In the game, Duda played bishop to g4. Not the best move. This allows white to play knight to e4, and this is what happened. h6, let's take it back. If bishop takes on f3, then knight takes on f6 check after queen takes knight rook takes on f3 queen to e7 rook to g3 and white is better back to our game h6 was played queen to g3 as planned and then duda played bishop to f5 the bishop is back where it was and white improved his position White to move, knight takes on f6 check, capturing black's well-placed piece. Rook takes on f6, knight to h4, white is standing better. The black knight on b6 will not contribute much for the rest of the game. Black to move, bishop to c2 is played. If bishop goes to h7, then one line goes like this. Rook takes on f6, queen takes on f6. Bishop to g4, knight takes on d4, queen takes on c7, and white is better. Back to our game. So Duda played bishop to c2, attacking the rook. Rook takes rook on f6, bishop takes rook on d1, white to move. How would you continue this position, if you had white pieces? Sion played rook to g6. Rook to h6 was even stronger. Rook to g6 was played. Knight takes on d4. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on e2, then bishop takes on h6. This is the idea. And white is winning. After rook to d7, rook takes on g7 check, winning the black queen and the game. Back to our game. Knight takes on d4. Bishop to d3. Knight to e2 check. Bishop takes on e2. Bishop takes bishop. And now bishop takes on h6. The threat is rook takes on g7 check, winning the queen. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Duda played rook to d1 check. There was a better move, and that is queen to c5 check. And after queen to e3, queen takes queen, bishop takes on e3. White is standing better, but the fight is on. Back to our game. Rook to d1 check. King to f2. Queen to f8 check. Well, check doesn't work now, does it? Because king takes bishop. Back to our game. 
queen to f8 check, knight to f3, rook to d7, defending g7 pawn, but dropping the bishop, the black knight on b6, and the black light square bishop didn't have the best day. King takes bishop, black is lost. King to h7 was played. Other moves are losing too, for example, rook to e7, then knight to d4, and after some random move, let's say knight to d7, queen to g5, let's say c5, bishop takes on g7, rook takes bishop, knight takes on e6, rook takes on g6, queen takes on g6 check, king to h8, knight takes queen and let's go back to our game king to h7 was played the threat is pawn takes bishop maybe why to move what is the best square for the bishop what would you do in this position jeffrey sion played knight to g5 check king to h8 if king takes on g6 then knight to e6 discover check winning the black queen that is why in this position Duda played king to h8. Jeffrey Sion played knight takes on e6, attacking the queen and adding one more attacker to the pawn on g7. Queen to f5. Bishop takes on g7 check. King to g8. Bishop to d4. Discover check. King to f7. White to move. White played a move and black resigned and the move is rook to f6 check. In this position, Duda resigned. He lost his queen and had only 9 seconds on the clock. Congratulations to Jeffrey Sion, who advanced to the next stage. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.